All right, guys, back with another video for you today. New house introduction plus a full bottle giveaway to subscribers of this channel from the USA and the UK. I'm talking about a brand called Lila Noor Parfums. Are you familiar with this house? Have you sampled them yet? Those of you that are in New York City and or in London, they are available at Harrods and uh, Brigdorf Goodman's currently exclusively sold in those stores. And I'm gonna tell you all about these three fragrances that I enjoyed after discovering them at Harrods uh, in London. So find out all about Lila Nur Parfums coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yeah, today I'm talking about Lila Nur Parfums. The three fragrances are Agar Epice. We also have Davana Cedre. And then finally, Mali Insolite. So Mali Insolite and Davana Cedre are created by Honorine Blanc. And then uh, the Agar Epice is created by Fabrice Pellegrin. And there's other fragrances also created by Clement Gavari and Olivier Cresp. All the perfumers are from Furmanish, and most likely this, this brand reached out to Furmanish and, you know, did their briefs and things like that and uh, uh, found the perfumers that were going to create the fragrances for them. There's also some attars that are sold from the brand as well. And there's one fragrance that's in red that um, I, I think I totally skipped that fragrance, so I'm gonna have to circle back and check that fragrance out as well. And that one is created by Olivia Cresp. And I'm a huge fan of Olivia Cresp's creation, so I'll have to circle back. But I didn't get to sample their attars because I'm not the biggest fan of attars. And I feel like for me, the best way to discover spray fragrances, which are my favorites, are in person at stores and things like that. And then with attars, I can take my time and kind of dab and things uh, on me at home. So I never really sample attars when I'm out and about so great that I discovered these at Harrods and now we're gonna to talk to you about them we're gonna start out with the first fragrance it's called agar Epice. this one right here so this is the one that's created by Fabrice Pellegrin this is a 2021 launch and I believe all the fragrances launched in 2021 and they retail for 100 ml for $285 and uh, before I move on with the fragrance don't forget about Rakuten guys if you buy things from Bergdorf Goodman's or even Harrods make sure you're signed up for Rakuten you can sign up with the link in the info box and uh, go there and then buy using Rakuten because you usually you can get cash back and Bergdorf Goodman's does like 10% cash back all the time which is when I'm buying from there uh, I can get that money back to me in credit and then every so on they'll send you a check. So Agar Epice for me is such a beautiful oud fragrance, very wearable and very spicy and to me it has some holiday spice vibes as well. So it features notes of oud, ginger, cypriol, gayak wood, sandalwood, leather. So there's no mention of vanilla here. I'm getting definitely a vanillic undertone here. And also, the only spice they mention is ginger. I feel like there's something in there that's giving me a holiday vibe, holiday-ish vibe, in addition to the ginger. So most likely there's some other spices in here to give me that feeling. Because ginger, definitely a very, you know, a spicy note and also, also a fresh spice got a zing and a kick sometimes and so it's here but as I was saying I'm kind of getting something like a nondescript cinnamony clove or maybe even nutmeg like vibe here mixed in with all the notes and they're also not mentioning vanilla here there's definitely a vanillic undertone here it's a sweeter take on oud but not like sugary sweet not gourmand at all definitely full-on oud here and the oud for me is definitely westernized oud not the animalic kind that can you know can turn off some people. So that's why I feel like this is very wearable. The Cypriol note is in here as well. It gives it a bit of smokiness. And a lot of people, when they smell Cypriol in fragrances, they think that they're smelling vetiver. And I feel like Cypriol is pretty popular to use. It's a bit different than vetiver, but they do share similarities for me. And then of course, Cypriol can, you know, take on the characteristics of other woods and patchouli and things like that. Of course, vetiver too. So it's definitely a nice he uh, surprise here with this fragrance to give it a bit of smoke. Smokiness. So there's also that ga gayak wood and sandalwood and I feel like here with the gayak wood they're using the creamy vanillic variety because from the gayak wood I think is where I'm getting this kind of vanillic undertones here to give it a sweet vibe and of course sandalwood give me a little bit of a creaminess, lactonic quality and eventually the fragrance dries down to a leather. This is a really great creation by Fabrice Pellegrin. If you guys don't know this perfumer he's done a lot of fragrances for Diptyque uh, and of course I got to meet him last um, October I think um, when I 
visited uh, Firminish uh, in uh, Grasse and he was there. May maybe he was creating some fragrances, but this is definitely a solid release. I feel like it does lean masculine because the vanillic, you know, sweet touches are not like very pronounced. So in the end, you're definitely, you know, wearing an oud. It's spicy, it's smoky and woody and leathery, but there's definitely some softness there, which kind of makes it very unisex. So Agar Apice is the first fragrance we're talking about. Then we're moving on to Davana Cedra. So Davana Cedra and the, the last fragrance, uh, Mali Insolid, are created by Honorine Blanc. Uh, I spoke about her just a little bit here uh, and she's she's done a great job with these two fragrances two totally different fragrances two really enjoy enjoyable fragrances for me and I feel like wow how in the world did I end up with two of her fragrances because when I sampled these I didn't know who the perfumers w were that created these fragrances so this is called Davana Cedra I feel like maybe it should have been called Angelica Cedra because for me Angelica is very very prominent here in addition to the Davana and Angelica notes we've got cedar we've got pink pepper cassis and musk it's very musky fragrance and vegetal a bit bitter and very powdery the Angelica provides a very powdery touch kind of green and vegetal and bitter and I feel like Angelica is kind of an acquired taste you got to really be into it and not f use as frequently as other notes but definitely it's the star here for me because it totally stands out I wanted a little more Davana uh, I feel like Davana was not as uh, pronounced as the Angelica note in this but I really enjoy Angelica because Angelica makes fragrances very very unique if you guys are familiar with Angelica or not you might want to check out Spiritu not Spiritus de Lovini. I was gonna say Angelica no Angelique Noir from uh, Guerlain that utilizes Angelica uh, but here I feel like it's definitely really in your face uh, definitely pronounced as I said so it's a bit spicy for sure with the pink pepper lots of woods and lots of uh, musk and definitely very very powdery and the cassis note in here just like the Davana they were not as in your face as some of the other notes but really beautiful I like its muskiness and powderiness and very very sexy and for me also there's a bit of a leathery undertone here with this uh, Davana Cedra as well but beautiful fragrance. So this is Davana Cedra from the house of Lila Noor Parfums. That's the second fragrance we're talking about today. And then finally, the third fragrance we're gonna talk about is Mali Insolite, this one right here. Don't you guys think these bottles are beautiful? Have you seen these fragrances before? I think they're just really beautiful. They have beautiful uh, design work and everything. But Mali Insolite, once again, is a Honorine Blanc creation. It's from 2021, all the fragrances are. Again, the price is 100 ml, 285. I have links in the info box. You can go check these fragrances out. But Mali Insolite is a beautiful, white floral bouquet mostly focusing on jasmine there's jasmine sandback here there's jasmine grandiflorum there's pink pepper there's tuberose and mineral notes so this is basically what they you know report for the notes here really in your face jasmine and the jasmine is not the animalic indolic kind so if you're turned off by those kind of jasmine notes you're not going to get that here perhaps there's maybe like minute amounts of something indolic under there but it's not coming through for me it's just a beautiful big bouquet of jasmine the kind of creamy variety and I feel like the tuberose complements the jasmine to add a little more creamy layer to the to the fragrance and the tuberose here for me is green so it's kind of like green stems or like very like spring not a warm day kind of jasmine not like baking under the sun kind of jasmine there's definitely some green touches here and fresh touches here and maybe a little bit dewy as well I get that from this particular fragrance but of course there's pink pepper to add a bit of spice and then of course the mineral notes to give it an earthy edge to the fragrance but definitely you have some creamy undertones for sure and of course very very fresh green kind of floral notes in addition to the the tuberose uh, of course the two types of jasmine that they're using here really a gorgeous fragrance really wonderful and I feel like this does lean feminine, whereas Agar Apice for me leans masculine. And then for me, um, Davana Cedra is right down the middle. It's a, it's a unisex. Uh, but this, I can see uh, some a woman that's just getting married wearing it. But you know, I really love the way it smells. I love jasmine. The flower itself is so, so beautiful. And I can see myself wearing this in the summertime where I need something fresh and floral and I don't want the you know warmth going with it. Because I feel like this uh, Mali Insoli doesn't have any warmth. There's no warm notes mentioned. Maybe a bit of warm spice from the pink pepper, but I feel like 
pepper in general is more of a fresh spice rather than warmth. So definitely I feel like this is a spring, like I can see brides uh, wearing it for their weddings and things like that, but also when, on a hot day wearing this beautiful jasmine fragrance, I, I feel like it's going to be heavenly. So this is Mali Insolite, the third fragrance from the house of Lila Nur Parfums. Let me know your thoughts on these fragrances guys. Have you sampled them? Are you curious to sample them? Those of you that are in New York City, have you gone to Bergdorf to check these fragrances out? And of course, if you're in London, have you been to Harrods to check these fragrances out? Go check them out. Tell them Sebastian sent you. Uh, but anyways, let's do the giveaway. What we're going to do for the giveaway uh, is uh, let you write down what you liked about this video and which fragrance would you select if you won the giveaway. And please make sure you're only in the USA or the UK. This is where the brand is sponsoring the giveaway. And please make sure to put down UK if you are in the UK and your state in the USA. Please, please, please make sure to follow these rules and also please uh, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Anyway, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.